What's up guys, GT Epic here. And today I wanna to talk to you about something really important. That's lighting on a budget. Because I know that many of you wanna become content creators, but you don't have the means to spend so much money on professional, uh, not only camera equipment, but just amazing lighting. Lighting will make or break your video quality. So let me tell you, I'm shooting with a 4K camera right now, right? And it's probably looking pretty crisp, but let's say I took the lighting away. What if I just turn it off? It's not as crisp and it's not, it doesn't really point out my features either. So I wanna just turn it back on and now you can kind of see there's depth to my face. You know where to focus when you're watching my video. You're not looking anywhere else, but right here. And that's what lighting does for you. It really sets the tone for a good quality video. So let's talk about it. So there was a time where I needed lighting equipment, but I didn't really have a high budget. So I brought this and I'll, I'll turn it on in a second, but I got this from either Walmart or Home Depot. It's a clamp light, pretty simple. You can clamp it pretty much almost anywhere. And it's really, it's really durable. Like it, it takes quite a squeeze to like actually open it up. Um, that's number one. So let me turn that on for you and you'll see like the difference. I wanna put it on my right side so I can have this half of my face as well. <laughs> okay, so the light is on and it is really bright. To be honest, it's blinding and it's kind of ruining the picture. So one thing you can do, if you have a white wall or something, you can diffuse it off of that. So I can just point this at the wall, right? So now there's a little bit of lighting on this side. There's my main light here on the right side. So you, you have to try to play around with the light a bit. It's quite important. You gotta really find what's your best angle. So now I'm gonna point the light at the ceiling. So now part of the light is actually hitting my face, but it's not direct, it's not like this. So see, that's pretty blinding, right? So it's part of the light is hitting that. And it's creating a pretty even tone across. And I can even face it more away and even more away just to like find that perfect depth, right? But if you've noticed, there's more shine on this side than this, than this side. That's because I've actually diffused that light. So let me talk about that too. <laughs> One part of having really good lighting equipment is being able to diffuse the light, right? So you don't want this in your face all the time because it's gonna be blinding. What I recommend for that is going to the store, probably Walmart or Target, buy some cloth. This is um, really, really thin. It's so thin that the light can go through it. So now when you turn on the light and you put this over, it's gonna diffuse itself and it's not gonna be as blinding as it was. So I just turned on the light with the diffuser. You see that? It's a bit more pleasant and not as bad, right? So you can now find a perfect light source. And now since this one, this light is like that light, they're gonna have even lighting on both sides of your face. And then you look pretty good, especially if you buy like a really high quality camera. Whoa. So I'm gonna place this on the table and then set it and just find a really good angle. And that's all it's really about, is finding the best angle that works for your face. All right, so this light is actually a lot brighter than this light. And I'll tell you why. So basically, hold on. All right, so ba you know what? That's pretty good. Maybe a little bit this way. All right, so basically this light it's not a smart light and I've actually adjusted that light. So one final tip, if you guys are into the whole smart house, smart lights, smart technology, you can put a smart light in one of these. You can actually adjust the brightness. So you can really bump it up or you can just lower it entirely. So I like to have mine about halfway. Um, I think I'm going to actually add a smart bulb onto that one as well and then I can balance the two out. But it's not just about the light, it's also about uh, the temperature that it gives off. So I can make the light even warmer and just set like a different tone to the video. 
not too warm. So you don't want it to be too bright because that'd be overly stimulating. If you had it somewhere slightly warm, then it'll just make you more welcoming and just easier to watch because the light isn't like hurting the, pe the viewer's eyes. Let me show you what this setup looks like from my point of view. So you guys actually have an idea for in the future to see how you want to set up your own setup. So this is pretty much my setup. That is my chair. That is one light. And there's my second light. Both are diffusing with a little piece of cloth. And then there's my tripod. Oh, one more tip for the glasses users. All right, so you can see that I have zero glare, right? That's because my lighting is on the sides. Because they're kind of illuminating the sides of my face and it's never actually going on my glasses. So if I look towards it, you're gonna see that I have the light glaring off me. So now I know a lot of you guys um, might not have glasses, but let's say you have one of those ring lights, right? And those ring lights are typically used to illuminate your face from the front. Now you can probably try to put it on the side, but I've never actually used one, so I can't really tell yet. But this is what happens if I, if I put a diffuse light right in front of my face. Here it goes. There's the glare right there. Just moving across. You can have it up. You can even have it. I'm pointing this straight at the ceiling. You can still see it. But if I put it to the side, you're going to find a really good angle. It's about 30 degrees. If, if I'm the plane, it's about 30 degrees out. It's a really good, um, really good place to be for a light. Pretty much that's my setup. I hope you liked it and it gave you ideas on how to do your own setup. And as well as the lighting, I hope the lighting solution works for you and you want to give it a try if, if you haven't already. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like, subscribe button, comment, and most importantly, share it to your friends that are trying to be content creators. I'm sure they would appreciate it. Thank you guys. Peace out.